In this lecture, you will learn how to turn an initial conversation into a future date with a woman you have determined is interested in you. If you're out somewhere and you see a woman that you'd like to approach, just do it. What do you have to lose? Keep the conversation really general. Here's the thing. You need to keep the focus off of her and more on the environment. For example, if you're both guests at a wedding, you could approach her and ask how she knows the bride or the groom. Keep the conversation light and don't make it overtly seem like you're trying to pick her up. Let the casual conversation flow for a good 10 minutes. If she's laughing, asking you questions, and engaging in a conversation with you, this is a good sign. She likes talking to you, but this doesn't necessarily mean that she's interested in you. At this point, you want to build a connection with her. Ask for her name, shake her hand, and start asking her questions to get to know her. You can ask what she does for a living. Does she like her job? Does she have any siblings? If she continues to share personal aspects of her life with you, this may mean that she's comfortable with you, which is another great sign. Tell her that you really enjoy talking to her and that you'd love to get to know her over coffee or dinner sometime. Be careful not to come on too strong by giving an inappropriate I am undressing you with my eyes look or complimenting her body or dancing with her in an inappropriate way. You may fall into the creepy category. If she leaves the conversation and says that she needs to go to the bathroom or her girlfriend casually pulls her away, you may have crossed a line or she just may not be interested in you. If this happens, learn from it, let go, and move on. If at any point during the initial interaction you feel compelled to buy this woman a drink, limit it to one drink only. You want to make sure that this woman is engaging with you because she enjoys your company and not because she's trying to get free drinks from you. Now let's say this woman has agreed to join you on a date. At this point, you want to get to know her and evaluate whether or not she really likes you for who you are and not what you have. With that being said, if you are financially successful, my advice to you is do not flash it. If you do, you're putting yourself at risk of being used, and it might be hard to figure out if she actually likes you for you or if she's after your money. On your first date, it's a really nice gesture to pay for the bill, but be discreet with your money and don't pull out a palm full of cash. Wait to lavish her with your love, attention, and to tell her about your successes until you know for sure that she likes you for who you are and that you in fact really like her. Now let's say things are going really well and you've gone on a few dates but you notice that something a little odd has been happening. You notice that she's been asking you to drive her everywhere and to help her with her projects and to buy things for her. This may be a red flag that she might be using you. If you find yourself in a position where you're constantly trying to make plans with her but she always seems too busy to get together I would take that as a hint. She's just not that into you, and it's time to move on. This concludes lecture number three. In the next lecture, you will learn how to emotionally connect and show interest in a woman.